Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and this is Camlink Pro. Camlink Pro is the latest capture card to join Elgato's line of products and to join the Camlink family. Now you might be asking, what makes Camlink Pro Pro? What makes it different than Camlink 4K? Well, Camlink Pro is an internal PCIe capture card equipped with four HDMI inputs. This means you can connect up to four cameras, camcorders, action cameras, etc., all to this one device. Each HDMI input can do up to 1080p 60fps or 4K 30fps resolution, even if you're using all four ports at once. Now, after hearing this, you might be thinking, did Elgato really duct tape four Camlink 4Ks together for Camlink Pro? And the answer, while it might be overly reductive, is yes, we totally did. But there is a bit more to it that really makes Camlink Pro a powerful tool for creators and professionals. So let's start at the beginning and talk about who Camlink Pro is for. Camlink Pro is for anyone who's looking to add multi-camera production to their setup. You could be a Twitch streamer looking to take your live broadcast to the next level with a camera angle for you, a top-down angle, a behind-the-scenes angle, and more. You could be a working professional needing a multi-cam conferencing setup for Zoom calls. Or you could be running a video podcast and are looking for an easy way to change camera angles with multiple guests. The list goes on and on. Now, you might be hearing this and think, if I really needed to do this, couldn't I just use multiple Camlink 4Ks? And the answer is, maybe. If you've used other capture cards before, you might be familiar with some of the differences and advantages of going with an internal capture card over an external USB capture card. When you're using a USB capture card, depending on your setup, you may need to adjust your USB device placement on your motherboard in order to make sure all of your devices get enough bandwidth to properly function. This is because USB ports on computers generally have shared USB controllers. Now, what does this mean? These USB controllers are what dictates the max bandwidth of the USB. So while a USB 3 controller might have a theoretical max bandwidth of 5 gigabits per second, if it's connected to three or four USB ports, they're all tipping into that total five gigabits of bandwidth. And if you have devices plugged in that collectively exceed the bandwidth of that controller, this is where you run into issues. You might have experienced this before, where if you have a ton of USB devices plugged into your computer, sometimes you might have a webcam with stuttering video, or maybe one of your devices just isn't showing up in your device manager. It's because it's either not getting enough power or bandwidth to properly perform. Now, not to scare you too much, a lot of USB 3.0 devices don't use the full bandwidth of the USB 3.0 spec. However, things like webcams and capture cards like Camlink is, are high bandwidth devices that are also real-time performance devices. So with these devices especially, you want to make sure they're on different controllers so you don't run into these issues. So with the rule of thumb in mind of one high bandwidth device per USB controller, most setups, you can use at least one or two capture cards, webcams, or cam links, and be perfectly fine. Now, it's when you go beyond that, or your setup just has other high bandwidth devices, where you'll start to run into some issues of finding the best ports to plug your devices into. And this is where internal capture cards are so convenient, because they have access to plug in directly to your motherboard via PCIe lanes, which have a ton more bandwidth than USB. So they aren't susceptible to these USB quirks. They avoid the issue completely and just offer a more stable experience in production. This is why all of our pro capture cards are internal. However, when it comes to computers, they only have so many PCIe lanes. But because of PCIe's high bandwidth, you're able to send more data to your motherboard through one port than what you could send through a USB cable. So this is where Camlink Pro comes into play. Through its PCIe X4 connection, it's able to send up to four feeds of 1080p 60 or 4K 30 video to your computer through one PCIe lane. So if you're using multiple cameras, they can all just connect to a single Camlink Pro resting inside your computer versus connecting to four single USB capture cards where you could run into these bandwidth limitation issues. So now that that's clear, I wanna talk about some of the unique features of Camlink Pro that sets it apart from the other multi-input capture cards out there. First off, one of the coolest features of Camlink Pro is its multi-view capability. Multi-view allows you to control the different camera sources at a hardware level from 4K CU software or right from your stream deck. Now, what does this mean? Well, like most multi-input capture cards, when you connect a Camlink Pro to your PC, it shows up as four different devices in your device manager. So when you go into your software, you can choose one of these four HDMI inputs as separate devices. 
Now, if you're dealing with live streaming software like OBS, you can add each of these devices as different sources in your software and move them around where you'd like in different scenes and everything works awesome. But what if you're using software like Zoom, where you can just choose one webcam input at a time? Well, with other multi-input capture cards, you'd be out of luck. But with Camlink Pro's MultiView, you can set your webcam source to Camlink Pro 1 slash MultiView, and then either in Stream Deck or 4KCU, you can actually change the camera angles and combinations of your HDMI inputs to that one source. So with this, I can set Camlink Pro HDMI 1 directly to Zoom, and using Stream Deck, I can decide to do a side-by-side -side shot of a wide shot and a zoomed-in shot of somebody speaking, I could do a picture-in-picture picture so that wide shot is a smaller portion of the screen, or I could change the cameras completely to a third input where maybe you have a laptop that was plugged in so a person can do a presentation. All of this is controlled with just a Stream Deck and Camlink Pro connected directly to Zoom. And secondly, a big thing to consider with Camlink Pro is its max resolution with all of its HDMI inputs. With a lot of internal multi-input capture cards, their max resolution depends on the number of inputs actively being used. So a product may advertise every port can do 4K, but if you use more than two ports, the max resolution may only be 1080p. Some capture cards will just have the first port being capable of 4K, with the rest only being able to do 1080p 60. And some all-in-one devices might take in four HDMI inputs, but they might only allow you to send these over one output, so you have to use whatever controls they provide for these inputs. So if you want that freedom of adding each input as a separate device in OBS, you would be out of luck. With Camlink Pro, you could have all four inputs live on your stream at once, all broadcasting up to 4K30 or up to 1080p60, or you could piece out your inputs to whatever scenes you have in apps like OBS, or you can control them in whatever combinations you want using MultiView and Stream Deck. Camlink Pro offers you the tools you need to put out the best production possible in the highest quality, no matter what your software setup might be. The choice is yours how you want to use it. Camlink Pro is available now on Elgato.com. Be sure to check out the links in the description panel to learn more. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to get subscribed so you can catch the rest of our videos and tutorials to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, Good luck and have fun.